What's up guys, Sid here, uh, got some, let's see, thrift store and Walmart pickups here to show you, and then some mail, got some pretty cool mail here, and actually a, uh, right off the bat, a TTM that took just over two days, uh, two days, just over two years uh, to come in, so that's going to be uh, pretty special to show you. Uh, but first up, actually these are bookstore pickups here, these these three are bookstore pickups. Um, these were picked up from that bookstore I told you about, uh, either my last video or the video previous to that, um, the bookstore in Wellington, Kansas, that's going out of business. Um, my wife and daughter went back there again um, over the weekend. Let's see, today is what, the 13th, 14th? It's the 14th, September 14th. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, but she went back on Saturday with my daughter and uh, got a few boxes and bags of stuff and uh, she picked these ones up for me uh, we got Schwarzenegger Jingle All The Way pretty fun movie here uh, big fan of this we got that and then we got uh, Beverly Hills Cop 3 Eddie Murphy and 7 I used to have the special edition DVD of this uh, but I sold it or something. So now I have at least the VHS to watch. So those are free. Those didn't cost a dime. So there's that. Walmart pickup. Um, had to get this. Uh, this is Last House on the Left. Um, the Wes Craven film. Uh, the one he worked in uh, conjunction with Sean S. Cunningham of Friday the 13th fame. Uh, Rest in peace, Wes Craven. Uh, but I got this because I have these. This is the special MGM 90th Anniversary Edition. It comes with the limited edition collectible card with exclusive artwork here. Uh, I have the Child's Play and the Return of the Living Dead um, Blu-ray uh, of the MGM 90th Anniversary Collection. So I had to get this. Uh, this was in the $5 bin at Walmart. So I, I had to grab it up. Uh, to go with those other two so still not really buying anything uh, although we do have some good news uh, it looks like I'm not gonna we're not gonna be moving um, we thought we might have to but it looks like we're not gonna have to and uh, some of the other problems that we're having looks like they're ironing themselves out uh, but I'm still gonna be still gonna be selling a lot of stuff to try and downsize and, and clear out a lot of clutter and I'm just going to be watching my spending and and saving money and putting it towards some other things that you know money should be put towards. So anyway, the mail. This is awesome. Got this last week. This is a TTM. As you can see, I have opened it, and you can see why here. Um, it's got my name and address here, but then it also has it up here. So I'm like. What the hell is this? Since photographs do not bend. So I couldn't wait. I had to I had to open it up and see what it was. It's just weird that this person put our address on the to and from. But anyway, here is the TTM. Took just over two years to come in. This is actor Michael Fishman. And for those of you that don't recognize him, and you might not, because he's a lot older here. Um, but he played DJ, uh, DJ Connor in the TV show Roseanne. And he filled this one out to me. Uh, Sydney, thanks for watching. Michael Fishman. And this one, more serious look here. Uh, this one he filled out to my wife. Thanks for watching the show. Michael Fishman. So awesome. I'm not normally proof uh, about never giving up on a TTM, but... This one here is probably the longest TTM I've ever had. That's come in just over two years. So super, super happy to get this in. Very cool. And next up, let's see, I think these are all, these all should be DVDs. Uh, this first one is gonna be a Facebook trade slash cash deal. Uh, I'm doing some artwork for a guy and he's 
paying me cash, and this is the trade part. It's a film I've always wanted to see. And it is called Cut and Run. And it is from the director of Cannibal Holocaust, Ruggiero Diodato. I'm sure I didn't say that correctly. Uh, but this film stars Richard Lynch and Michael Berryman. Some scenes from the film there. From Anchor Bay. This is a pretty rare uh, find here. There's the, the movie poster there. Michael Berryman looking spectacularly sinister. Oh, and it's also got Willie Ames. For those of you who know who he is. Always wanted to see this. Uh, and as soon as I saw that, my buddy here had this. I said, well, I'll do that artwork for this much cash and that movie right there. Uncut and uncensored. Can't wait to watch this. Looks like it's also got Karen Black and Eric LaSalle. Very cool. That's so awesome. Can't wait to watch that. All right, next. Another DVD here. This is going to be a Facebook trade. I traded a Blu-ray for a Blu-ray. This is one of my top five favorite films, Escape from New York. Super, super glad to have this on Blu-ray. And this is the Blu-ray and DVD two-pack here. Escape from New York. Looks like no special features, unfortunately. But still really happy to have this in my collection. I sold my DVD copy a long time ago and my VHS copy, so I did not have any copies of this film to watch and now I do back in the collection again super super happy very awesome and last but not least this is actually a purchase this one cost me a whole ten dollars but it's a movie it's a recent film I definitely wanted to have it and watch it so when my friend offered his copy up for sale I had to grab it this is Wormwood Mad Max meets Dawn of the Dead from IFC got some special features here the Worm Diaries behind the scenes of Wormwood uh, deleted scenes, 7 minute teaser scene storyboards, theatrical trailers I remember watching a uh, little trailer uh, on YouTube and it got me hooked on this film Brand spanking new. Got it for ten bucks shipped. When it, I believe it cost ten bucks right in the store, so ten bucks shipped. That's a damn good price. This is IFC and Scream Factory, I believe. Yep. Super awesome. Can't wait to watch that. That's it, guys. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you guys later. We'll see you.